been quicker once again than Albers throughout free practice. But uh, in all the Grand Prix he's done so far, only three so far, but he's sort of bottled it on a Saturday afternoon when the pressure's been on. Now he's seen that his own teammate, Albers, has, uh, has made the mistake. So this needs to be a nice, clean, committed lap from Robert Dornbos, who's looking to move on next year, perhaps move up the grid a little bit. It's a good opportunity for him to showcase his talents. Michael Schumacher currently fastest ahead of Weber, Massa, Pizzonia, Montero, Carter Kayan and Albers. Now we get that onboard shot again. It's, uh, it very much is driver's eye level from the camera just over his left shoulder and gives you a much better feel for all of the furniture and rubbish you're looking through as a driver if you look down the front of the car. He kept it on track in the second Lesmo, so I think you're right, James. We're going to get a, a, a much truer, fuller impression of where the race is this weekend between Minardi and Jordan. Certainly, Minardi hoping that the... Uh, sorry, Jordan hoping that the updated car will push them further ahead of Minardi because uh, one or two times of late Minardi have been in front of them in qualifying and in the Grand Prix. There is uh, Carter Kane recovering the pits. Here's Dornbos, one of the four places on the track. The car's hit over 200 miles an hour down that back straight. There's four other straights they do that here, which makes it the temple of speed celebrated for such a long time. That's where the old banking used to rejoin the track, right behind Dornbos now. Here he comes down the line. What's this do for him? It puts him in front of Carter Kane and Albers. So he has outqualified his teammate for the first time this year and that is a 124.9 for Dornbos so significantly slower than he went this morning in free practice but uh, they do tend to put a bit of fuel